Welcome to another episode of Mighty Mods. Now today, we're going to show you how to install a boost gauge in your turbo car. Why are we going to do that, Martin? It's a good idea to keep an eye on what your turbo is doing. Um, gauge is the perfect way. You can diagnose problems really fast and you can see what's going on and it's just cool. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. It's cool. And, and, and if you want, you can put them in a non-turbo car too. No, dude. Yeah, they no. won't do anything. Except if you wanted to, you could physically put one in there. And then maybe you could put a tube under the seat a attached to a pump and as you accelerate, you turn the pump on, it looks like the gauge is moving. Let's get to it, dude. This is silly. Okay. Right, so these are all the tools you'll need. We've got a socket set to get to everything. We've got some wiring. It's actually recycled from, and left over from our first episode with a little red Daihatsu in the central locking. We've got the gauge itself. And we've got a, um, a cup that will hold the gauge and mount it up on the dashboard out of the way. Not every turbo setup's the same, so you'll need to find out exactly which vacuum line is right for the gauge on your car. Now, there are two types of boost gauges that you can buy. One's a mechanical and one's electrical. We've bought a mechanical one, which means there's a vacuum line running from the engine bay into the cabin and into the gauge. Our car had an existing power wire going through to the cabin for the amp. This makes getting the vacuum hose in much easier. Make sure it doesn't kink or rub anywhere on the car. Next up, cut or extend the vacuum line in the engine bay and connect the supplied T-piece. The gauges usually run from the middle of the T and have a restricted to smooth out the operation of the needle. Now every car is different as to where to run the vacuum line from. With this particular car, the GTIR, we had to run a special vacuum lead from the quad throttle bodies. Check out our other video if you want to see how to do that. It's a good idea to use hose clamps on most connections. You want them to withstand the test of time. Some hoses will need to be heated up to get them over the barbed fittings. Using hot water will soften the plastic hose without damaging it. Run the vacuum line through the dash up to a suitable spot. Make sure it's not going to rub on the foot pedals or wiring underneath the dash. The best way to figure out which wire is which is with a multimeter. We need to find one that only comes on when the ignition is switched on. You don't want your gauge running all the time. Make sure you do good soldering on the connections to ensure they last. The gauge will come with instructions telling you which wires to solder. We made a new hole in the back of the gauge cup to run the vacuum line. The gauge is installed up onto the dash, everything's screwed back together and we're all done. Okay, so the boost gauge is in and how excited are we, Marty? It goes, wah, 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 wah. It's a gauge. It's good. See you next time. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>